Jackson. I'm the director of the Office for Sustainability. And I really just wanted to thank you guys for coming out here. The inspiration for this event came from the students. And the students came to us and said, how do we meaningfully participate in achieving Harvard's greenhouse gas and energy reduction goal? And this was their idea. taking students around from the different groups and uh, showing them the, the occupancy sensors here um, that we're replacing all the uh, manual switches with. Um, and the occupancy sensors are really great uh, just because they every 10 minutes they'll turn off unless it senses motion, at which point it'll reset itself. Uh, so it should save about two hours of what would be just like wasted light uh, every day. We are replacing several dozen fluorescent lamps in the Morton Prince house in order to increase the long-term energy efficiency. And the difference in light emissions is barely noticeable, but the difference in energy savings is dramatic. It's an estimated $230 for the cost for this building and $190 per year in terms of the university's budget for this building. Hi, uh, my name's Gary. I'm a freshman at Harvard. We are uh, taking some foam insulation. As you can see, it's just pretty straightforward, it's got some adhesive tape on the back, and we just cut it to the right length to fit a window. Um, and what we do is we stick it in there, and eventually it'll expand and seal the gaps. And this actually will cut about a ton of carbon dioxide emissions from the Morton Prince House every year. We're putting kits together, um, and each staff member is going to get um, a bag with a recycling bin, a trash bin, um, uh, an information sheet about what can and can't be recycled, um, stickers to put on uh, printers, reminding them to double side. Um, uh, we're going to put scrap bins next to scanners, um, green dishware, uh, green soap in the kitchen, um, just a whole bunch of different things that can go towards the green office program. I'm leading Team Vitreous, which is insulating pipes at the FDO basement here, Morton Prince House. And basically we've got Pat here, he's, uh, he's telling us what to do, showing us how it's done. Uh, we're having a great time, it's already looking good, so I'm really excited. I'm Dean Clark, uh, Jonas Clark, one of the resident deans and freshmen here. You can see it's a pretty old building, 1851, um, as I think I said uh, to some students earlier. It's um, you know, pretty hot in summer and pretty cool in the winter, so um, this will be a welcome, I think, a, a welcome project as far as we're concerned. In addition to sort of, um, you know, doing our part on the sustainability front as well. Hi, I'm Matthew, and I've been working a lot today. Um, it's Saturday. I've helped with emergency light switches. I've helped insulate pipes. I have helped do a lot of things. I've recycled, and I've drank a lot of water, and had a good day. It's almost time for lunch. We're having pizza. And what else? We, um, what else? I have helped carry four good light bulbs downstairs in this room that I'm in right now to help with the lights. Faculty, students, and staff are coming together to actually make change on this campus and use it as a living lab to figure out how do we precipitously drop energy usage in an economically viable way and have some fun along the way. You can recycle soda cans, plastic bottles, glass bottles, plastic cups, cardboard boxes, you can with plastic pieces of boxes, you can coffee cups, and just paper envelopes and things like that. 